Foodie Beauty Reaction Channel. Love you so much. One of the best reaction channels out there. Don't you forget it. Put some respect on his name. All right. It is June 3rd, 2022. 7.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is I'm starting to make this. And for almost the past two hours, Chantel has been on a drunk stream with an open chat that I tried to get involved with and caused some trouble with Super Chat. It did not work. That's fine. And, um, it, 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 when I'm done talking, I'm gonna zoom in, and, and, and you know, but she was playing, she's playing copyrighted music. She's, she's just drinking booze and playing copyrighted music. And, and, uh, when I, when I stop talking here, I'm gonna zoom in, because she reads something there in the chat where someone's saying, you lied about the DV and the SA, and then Chantel, uh, gets angry. She turns off the music, and she says that she doesn't owe anybody the truth. How do you like that? The other reaction channels, you know, uh, <coughs> what are their initials? French, uh, French Fried Girl and Yabba, they're just two examples. There are others. They give Chantel an enormous pass because there never were any charges. Because Chantel will be getting charged right now if there were. Because you can't bring multiple false charges deliberately against somebody and then just walk away from it like it's a joke. You can't have a dispute with your next door neighbor, bring them up on charges and say, oh, I didn't mean it. <laughs> so it was all a lie anyway, as I said right away. And now Chantel is telling people that she doesn't owe anybody the truth. So I want to get this clip and share it with you immediately the same evening. I really used to like you until you recanted your SADB statement and lied the whole time about it. Can you at least understand what people are saying? Can you at least understand that I've said a different million different versions of the story because I don't feel comfortable talking about it. I don't owe you the truth with something that happened personal in my life. I said I don't want to talk about it, Kim. And can you not understand why people why I would be upset about that? Thank you. <laughs> When Chantel said that she brought charges against Natter, if she really had done so, then she would have immediately stopped talking about him, and he would have immediately stopped talking about her. And I told you guys that right away. Then they would have waited for the trial to arrive. Instead of that, they kept screaming at each other with their little channels on YouTube, which demonstrated that it was all fake right from the start. And I told you guys that. I told you guys that. And the other reaction channel is like, oh, oh, uh, it, 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 I, I think she's seen Koki. Is there a peace bond that they're breaking? We better phone the, the police for that, too. It was all lies. This creature is just an evil, lying piece of shit that sits around in the townhouse all day making stuff up. There's nothing going on, okay? There's there's no relationship between her and Natter except for a business relationship. That's the same with Didi. They're not fighting. They're just a group of acquaintances making up this garbage all the time for clicks and money. And now that she's made her money with the false charges story, and if you did believe any of it, then Chantel would be getting charged right now herself. Because it doesn't matter if it's the United States of America, if it's Canada, if it's Europe. You cannot bring multiple false charges against somebody deliberately and then just walk away from it. If you have some dispute with your next door neighbor, you don't phone the police. And you, and, and, and you put false charges against them on purpose. And then you turn around and say, oh, I can't deal with it. And you walk away from that? If you do that, you get charged yourself. It was all garbage. And that's all Chantel has. She's, she's not going to put in the work to do a real channel. She's not having real relationships with anyone except for that sick relationship she's got with Pete's. He's a weirdo. She's a weirdo. They're together in that townhouse. I think if she's getting any action at all, it's Pete's hand every now and then. Or some tool. That is it. And she uses drugs and alcohol to get into character. To fall apart and help her to cry on camera and to shriek and put on a better performance that's what she's doing this evening so the clip that I just shared with you guys where she says she doesn't owe anybody the truth because it was very personal is just her having made her thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars 
with a lie, and a whole bunch of other lies too, and now she just wants to walk away from it and say, oh, it was very personal. Anyway, I told you so, I told you so, and now she's just telling people that uh, I don't owe you the truth, so that was what I wanted to share with you this evening. Thanks very much. I know I did a great job. Please subscribe. It would be appreciated. Would you still do YouTube if you didn't get paid? Fuck no.